super high for Al Jam, everybody! Yeah. All right, good evening, folks. Thank you for coming out tonight and ditching your fathers. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, Ala Al Agbawi Jamalia. That's okay, you can call me Al Jam. <laughs> I think it's a little bit easier. Uh, I'm a foreigner, I didn't figure that one out yet. An American foreigner, but don't worry, that's not what I'm here to talk about tonight. A lot of people ask me, yo Al, how do you say your name? We'll learn how to pronounce your name. The only problem, if English is the only language you speak, it's gonna be hard to learn new sounds. Um, for instance, there's letters in my name that don't exist in English. You have to get rid of them. There's syllables that sound shady and look questionable with thick beards. I had to get rid of them. <laughs> and uh, that's how you end up from Ala Al Akbawi Jamalia with Al Jam. If you insist on learning how to pronounce my name for some odd reason, I don't know why you're insisting, I got some tips for you. These are all scientific. Um, and do we have any speech pathologists in the room? No? If we did, they will confirm my methods. Um, one, simple, you just want to warm up your vocal cords. Um, a simple, uh, ooh, should do. Uh, number two, this is really important for some reason, gargling with some salt water and hummus. <laughs> Um, the third one, you can't really help it, you're almost kind of born that way, but I guess with some training or uh, losing some dignity, you could, um, if you got no gag reflex, it would definitely help. <laughs> really, I guess what I'm trying to say, it's really hard to say my name if you've never sucked dick before. <laughs> Which has been limiting my friendship choices lately, especially since I moved to the city a couple weeks ago. That's okay. When I'm not teaching someone how to pronounce my name, I'm doing a lot of Chicago things. I'm trying to, you know, immerse myself in the Chicago culture. I don't want to look like a, like an outsider, like a foreigner. You know what I mean? So I've been doing a lot of things Chicago's famous for. Um, so uh, I joined the gang. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were looking for a new member, and um, I was right there. The only problem I didn't tell them I'm colorblind. So hopefully, when, <laughs> true, true. so hopefully when the time is right for me to go on a drive-by shooting, um, I'm sure I'm going to qualify for that at some point. They're going to be like, hey, you got to shoot the guy in red. And I'll be like, could you be a little bit more specific? <laughs> be like, red, doesn't get more specific than that. I'll be like, um, is it like the tall guys, the short guys? No, red, there's going to be tall guys, there's going to be short guys, just shoot for red. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll keep you posted, you give me your emails. Uh, after the show. Uh, other Chicago stuff, man, I love the food here. Chicago is a great place for all types of food. I love the little cities, little Italy. One of my favorite places has been going to um, Greek town. So you go to Greek town and uh, get some authentic Greek heroes. They're so delicious and they're made by authentic, real Mexicans. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, but lastly, you know, just been getting around, riding the bus, the train. And uh, yeah, you know, what a great way to immediately like hate everybody in the city. <laughs> but the other day, I was on that bus, and uh, I was eating a hot dog, and this guy sitting across from me starts staring at me as I'm putting the hot dog in my mouth. And it was making me feel very uncomfortable. I was getting very angry because I started questioning my sexuality. I have all these questions. The guy's still staring at me. He's not breaking eye contact. I get to my stop. I'm getting ready to get up. The guy gets up, gets his walking stick, he just gets up. But that hurt me. I started thinking. I'm walking, I'm thinking, like, what's with tubular shaped objects and, like, phallic jokes or penis jokes? Why does it gotta be sexual? And if you think about it, tubes are everywhere. I get the resemblance, but if you think about it, your whole body is a tube made out of more tubes sticking out of it. And every tube got like little tubes sticking out of it. But somehow, we want to associate tubular shaped objects with, you know, if, if you take a walk down, like Boys Town, you'll notice that ratio is even diminishing. And what I mean, men are less than half the population of women on Earth. So half the people on Earth have penises, and that's even diminishing 
Hashtag Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> um, my point, folks, it's time to flip the script, switch the tables, put the glove on the other hand. You get my point. I want you to start associating objects with holes in them, with vaginas. Next time you see someone eating a donut, make them feel awkward about that. <laughs> Your mechanic is talking about the exhaust pipe, make him feel awkward about that. I'm just describing a vagina. <laughs> anyway, folks, thank you for your time. My name is Al Jim.